Tommy, they want to break up the um, the wall of shingles that's going to be everywhere by adding a couple little patterns throughout. Yeah, there's a lot of wall, and the architect drew a little detail right here. It's called a diamond pattern, and oh, it's going to yes. be on the gable ends. Yep, yeah, it's a subtle little detail. Let me show you what I have here. That pattern is established by the height or the coursing of the shingles. Right. That's the reveal right there, That's five the inches. Reveal. Okay. So to make the diamond pattern, you take a shingle like this. So I've made these shingles five inches because I like the width of five inches with a five inch reveal. So let me see, I take this out and I take this shingle and I was to slide it down like that. Yeah. The bottom of the shingle would end up with this coursing here. And then to get the angle, I would mark it off of this coursing right here. So if you look, Oh. That shingle goes right in there right. like that. Even on the bottom, coursing lines up here. So each diamond shingle is going to be five inches wide? And the angle it represents five inches in height. Beautiful. So if I go like that. There's your overlap. There's your overlap. Now when you put these on, you have to make sure that you nail them much higher than you normally would with a shingle because you don't want to see a nail here. Right, but that creates the diamond right in the middle right there. That creates the diamond. So buy them this shape or cut them this shape? No, you can buy them. And they come already pre-cut, but as you know, the height of the rows of shingles can change in relationship to the height of a window. Right. You want that coursing to line up with the bottom of the window mm -hmm. and the top of the window. So sometimes that coursing could be five and a quarter, it could be four and seven eighths. Right. And that's why I like to cut them in the field because I can then change that angle slightly by making my cut up higher. Good. All right, so our diamond is gonna go right here. You can see this is a center line for the beginning of the diamond. We've run a level off of our story pole over here and spaced this shingle five inches from this shingle, which is our five inch reveal. Gotcha. All right, now we take a square shingle and we're gonna put it on this side, but I'm gonna to try to use my straight edge across here so we can lay them on. Put it on one of those lines and I'll pick a line here, put a nail and tack it up high. Okay, now we can lay our square bottom shingles on our straight edge. All right, so now I'm ready to start building off of the diamond. So we're gonna set the next piece so that the bottom lines up with the angle right under that line right there. And now we'll go with the one on the other side. Lay it in. Nail it high. Now I want to move a straight edge up for the next course. All right, so now we're ready to put another one in the center, line it up. Another diamond. Just lightly touch it against the other one. All right, so now we need to get another line across for our next row up. Now the next thing we need to do is start transitioning the other way. We're going to take a shingle that we've just cut a section off and that gives us our other angle going the other way. Right there. Good. Right there. Here. Put them on a the line. Side. All right, so now I'm just going to take the last two pieces with the clip corners off of them. So now we're going to put one on one side and one on the other, bring them together, put them on a line. Right there.
and now our coursing can continue off of these rows. And look at that. I mean, it is subtle, it is but subtle. it is a nice little detail. It really looks nice from a distance, too. I'm going to break up this gable in. Nice job, Tommy. Thanks for the help. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.